Hello, family. Thank you for coming over to the house tonight. And just kick off your shoes and relax your feet. Party on down to the SKB. We're kicking. Just kick it. Just kick it. Okay, you don't come to another episode where we're going to be asking the question of... Why are you telling my business? Don't be telling my business. Hmm. Why not? Because a can-can and a can-can, a can-can, a can-can, and a wheel. Now we're off to... Hello, <clears throat> everyone, and welcome back to the channel. We're here today. We're going with our favorite auntie... Yes, it's Aunt Bertha from Candy Burris' family. Woo, child, she went and visited Juicy Crab and getting her crab cakes and probably crab souffle or whatever they got over there at Juicy Crab. She was partaking of it. Now she need to get herself a little smoky smoke. But child, Aunt Bertha, well, you know, Patrick always doing something with his grandma, okay? <laughs> Trying to rile her up this, that, and the third, honey. But Patrick was telling a lie to his grandmama. She probably was believing and then before she finished her sentences, she probably said, this nigga just messing with me. He ain't, ain't nobody coming to pick him up. But that was so, 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 so funny. So, so, so. They keep me entertained. I wish Bravo would give Aunt Nora, Aunt Bertha, and Mama Joyce a show. Because that show would be there. And they probably would surpass the Real Housewives of Atlanta and the Housewives franchise. You know, two old, well, three old ladies in a boot. That's what I would call it. Three old ladies in a boot. Or three seasoned ladies in a boot. Okay? Because she was just giving me all kinds of teas with her cute little self. Come on, God is from Atlanta. I believe so, too. Because <laughs> God is everywhere. All right? But whoever made that shirt, that was a cute shirt as well. But I want y'all to listen to Miss um, Bertha talking about what she going to do to somebody that's going to try to contact or have contact, meaning them hands, on her grandson. She ain't playing with nobody when it comes to Patrick. But here we go. Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> this lady, this boy said he finna come fight me and his grandma, 85, she said she gonna jump in. You gonna help me? We gonna beat the hell out of her. <laughs> <laughs> I'm really gonna be the 85 year old. This boy said he finna oh, come fight Lord, me. Come on, 85. She says she gonna jump in. You gonna help me? We gonna beat the hell out of her. <laughs> <laughs> okay. They need to this put lady, that as a meme. A meme, me, me, a jiffy. 85. She says she gonna jump in. You gonna help me? We gonna beat the hell out of her. <laughs> And Aunt Bertha meant that. Do you hear me? Aunt Bertha meant them things. She's going to beat the hell out of this 85-year-old woman that's going to come up there and hurt her grandchild. And you know what? I believe her. <laughs> Aunt Bertha probably putting her fist, fist up. Talking about, come on now. Come on now. Swing. Swing if you're crazy. Swing so I can land you on that pavement. Come on, woman. Come on. Boy, I tell you. Oh, Candy family members just tripped me the hell out. I'm telling you. Well, we always knew Patrick. He was playing dumb on that um, OLG uh, spinoff they had. Because Patrick is very smart. He's a very smart, intelligent young man. But sometimes I be thinking he be trying to test other people to figure out how smart he is. Because I know Candy had got mad because uh, a lot of people were in the comment section saying he was dumb and he was naive and this, that, and the third. But he, he's very, very far from that. Okay, very much so far from that. I think he just likes to get other people's reactions uh, when he say crazy stuff like that. So he, he might could be a little comedian because I know he... he <laughs> Every time he opened up his mouth and said something stupid, I had to laugh. I had to give me a little kiki. But child, I just had to let y'all hear what Aunt Bertha got cooking up for us on that famous day. I don't know if it was yesterday or uh day before, was it the weekend? But she was showing up and showing out at Juicy Crab. And getting her a uh, eat on. And then Patrick going to try to play with her once she come outside. Talking about somebody going to beat him up. And he and she he needs her help. And she just, hey, she'll ride. She'll G on it. She said, 
Oh, we're going to beat the hell out of her ass. <laughs> Woo! I like, go ahead. Uh, Bertha, go ahead. I ain't mad at you, baby. I ain't mad at you. But that's all I got for this particular video. Just give y'all a little laugh, a little kiki. Let y'all hear what I heard. And see if it tickled your fancy or not. Because it sure took a mile, honey. When you put them three women in a room... And you call yourself taping them or recording them. For one, Aunt Bertha ain't going to let you <laughs> go over her time limit that she can mess with you and the foolishness of what we call taping out here. Because she was like, uh-uh, uh-uh. We ain't through yet. When she was filming the OLG and they were getting her, I think it was more so their confessional times about certain scenes and this, that, and third. She's like, we ain't finished yet? Damn. <laughs> she had threw her hands up and everything. I was like, Lord, have mercy. Free Aunt Bertha from the press. Free Aunt Bertha from the the press do you hear me because she wasn't having it when uh <laughs> and it was a situation i think with they were trying to work out on what really happened between uh aunt nora and uh aunt bertha's daughter and i guess it was getting a little bit too personal for her or she just didn't want to hear the shit no more she wanted it to die down let it go and, you know, move on to the next question. And hopefully there ain't no more questions because she was ready to take her ass home. But uh, they kept, I, th I think Candy was really laying on it too much. You know, she should have knew that it was upsetting her aunt. And she should have just let it go from that point. But she was still trying to revive the question on what really happened. And her and her aunt Bertha got her pocketbook. <laughs> and her other materials and she got the hell off that sofa she said i'm done and they were like no come back home she's no i am done y'all can sit up there and talk about whatever you want to sit and talk about but for me and myself me myself and i we off camera time and i ain't coming back up that's so don't keep damn asking me that Ooh, my brother was something else. I like my brother. I'm telling you the truth, girl. Yes, when you tired, you tired of that camera following you, and they need to get the hell out your face. You know how to do it. You just walk off the, the set yourself. They ain't gotta tell you. <laughs> they ain't gotta tell you that you through. You know when you have had it. You know when you don't want any more of what they're serving, or they're gonna have to be serving up your two fists that you're gonna be balling up at them because you ain't you ain't scared to catch no case. <laughs> <laughs> you the true Medea up in the Candace family, uh, Candace family matter. Well, not Candace family matter. Hell, I twisted this thing up. I'm thinking about Portia, but uh, yes, yeah, she has to be the matriarch over there, honey. <laughs> she probably put Joyce in her place as well. Woo, Lord, I tell you, I'm not. I, I guess my aunt Bertha's older than Mama Joyce and Aunt Nora, cause she kind of, um, she kind of look like to me that she may see her sisters as somebody she has to protect and and take care of as well so maybe she was kind of like the matriarch but it seemed like she had a twin that died uh maybe two years ago um uh, can they put it on her um her platform uh i forgot what the lady what her uh, other aunt's name was but she really did favor aunt bertha because a lot of people had felt it was aunt bertha but i knew the picture kind of looked different then candy came out and, and let us know that it wasn't aunt bertha it was i think her name was hazel but i'm not really sure don't quote me on it but honey we know Aunt Bertha be over there to regulate. <laughs> and she probably could come over to my house and regulate as well. Because she reminds me so much of my Auntie Lily that passed in uh, 2018. She had a, a very, she had a heart of gold, uh, which I'm sure Aunt Bertha has too. And she don't play with nobody that's messing with her family members. <laughs> she don't care if it is hell. She don't even care if it's another family member that's been uh, twice removed and came back. She be getting up in your ass. Okay, and I know she loves herself some day up. That's me. She loved that was like my second mom. But um uh, I'm not gonna talk about it too much more because I might gotta uh choke up and be crying over him. So I do miss her. And uh, you know, God take his uh people home when it's time for them to go home. And we just have to uh, remember they were gifts to us, but he actually owned them. So Oh, shout out, shout 
out to Miss Bertha, okay, and Mr. Patrick for sharing some of that commentary with us, all right? But if y'all are looking for another video that's coming out, uh, make sure you hit that notification bell so you can be alerted when I drop new videos, okay? You know, I want y'all to come on over to the house and sit down with me. Let's talk a spell. <laughs> <laughs> That's the country woman in me. Okay. Well, I'll see y'all next video. Bye-bye.